guys. Been a while, hasn't it? We're quite deep into 2020 now and um, certain things have been happening, which has caused me to have a little bit of delay in my plans. But um, I thought it was high time that we caught up in the garden and I do a video that I've been meaning to do for a while um, about new identification. And luckily I have two of the three, three species in the UK in my ponds, uh, being smooth newts and palmate newts. I'm completely unprepared for this because I don't have a mic, I don't have my tripod or anything, so it's all improvised. In fact, the camera is sitting on two pots of paint and a bit of wood. And uh, this is my one of my wife's cooking bowls. So <laughs> excuse the way it's been thrown together, but I have managed to catch the first set of newts. These are palmate newts, and I thought some people would find this interesting. A few facts and figures, and what I'll do is I'll leave, a, I'll leave the camera running at the end and then dub over some more facts because all these facts will be off the top of my head. No doubt I will miss quite a few interesting ones, but I shall impart what I know. So here we have one relatively juvenile palmate newt, which is counting from the top. Oh, they've all lined up for me, just moved his head. That is probably last year's palmate newt male and the rest are palmate newt females the one at the top there is got, got eggs you can tell she's carrying eggs now i'm going to get this male out they've been in here a while they're nice and calm it didn't worry them doing this you can see this guy's got kind of a, a very oh, very leopard like head and the thing about the the main way to determine whether they're palmate newts or smooth newts is uh, first of all the size palmate newts fully grown a maximum of nine centimeters and smoother a little bit bigger at 10 but um that's not where the uh where the id can end both palmate newts genders have no speckles under their chin um and they have a very pale chin whereas the underside of a smooth newt is very orange yellow and the speckles extend all the way into the throat and like I say, they are bigger smooth newts. Uh, this is a male. Now, the way to determine whether it's a male or not is, you see there, it's perfect. At the end of their tail, they have that little spike. And that is the first sign of a male. Also, I don't know if you can see his back feet, but they are webbed in the palmate newt. I'm trying both hands to get this camera. There you go. Can you see the back foot there is webbed? So it's 100% a palmate newt here, a little last year's one. They have some colour in the underside oh, of the tail, but not a lot. Whereas as the male smooth newts come into, uh, they become kind of ready to mate, they get a lot more colour. Um, they get a crest, a smaller crest than a great crested newt but they have a crest all the same and much darker generally. So I'll get a female in a, in a minute. Um, all three groups are, are, are the Lysotriton, Lysotriton kind of Latin name. Uh, otherwise, uh, they're also called um, Triturus as well. I think the, uh, the power mate is Triturus helveticus and the smooth is Triturus vulgaris. I'm not sure of the great crested newt, a crystalline or something. Um, but I don't have any. I thought I had a juvenile great crested newt once, which are called a neotonic newt. And that was the first video I ever did. If you go all the way back, you'll see that very strange. And you'll, you'll see why I was confused when you watched that video as to what it was, because it looked like no other newt I've ever had and seen since. Very strange. So let's get a female out here. Hopefully this camera is, is uh, focusing okay. I'll leave the pregnant one, and I say pregnant, then obviously, there you go, there you go, right. So I'll try and flip her over quick. Can you see there, just briefly, the underside of her chin? I don't want to give them too much stress. The females are generally lighter in colour, again, a bit smaller than the smooth newt counterparts. No webbing on the females and no spike in the, in the end of the tail there. Um, but they do have, the males do have a little bit of orange. The females have a yellowy orange underneath, but not too much. 
uh, they, there are variations as you can see there but I'm pretty certain all three of these females are indeed I'll just check the underside oh this one's a bit feisty I'll check the underside of this one they're getting warm in the sun I thought I'd come out early and do this in the oh it should just flip then briefly I won't turn her over it will stress her out but um yes yeah, definitely a, a par make with no speckles on the chin you just flip her over just like that I don't know if you can see if the camera's catching this or not um, but yeah, definitely females. And what I'll do now, I'll put these guys back because they've been in here 10 minutes. I was looking for a bigger male. You can see just how much smaller and slimmer the males are than the females. And that's predominantly because they are, they are carrying eggs, obviously. Um, and generally the, this, um, the, the, the palmate species is smaller. So what I'll do now, I'll put these guys back in and, uh, and try and find some smooth newts which are much closer and in, in uh, kind of being exciting I guess I love palmate newts but they're a little bit more exciting in their colors and much closer to the great crested newt oh uh, Triturus cristas, crist, uh, cristatus I think came to me um see smooth newts yeah a little bit bigger and the males are much more uh, vibrant in color there you go just came up for an air bubble there um right see you in a sec I'm going to try and catch some smooth newts <laughs> 